Hey everyone, Jim here from uh, Storm Warning News. Hope you're all doing well on this Monday. I hate to make these self-indulgent videos. I really, you know, me, my face, talking to you. This is a news channel. First and foremost, this is a news channel. I'm going to call this electrical anxiety because I can't think of a better term for it right now. But um, I've been experiencing an abnormal amount of anxiety over the last couple of weeks. And the Bible says to be anxious for nothing. And I pray and I, I say, Lord, forgive me for my anxiety. Help me with what I'm dealing with here. And I start looking for physical root causes of it. Okay, my situation right here in this residence, it's anxious right now. It's anxious because there is, let's just say it's anxious, that I'm peace, quiet, and privacy are something that I'm not finding enough of. I feel infringed upon here, very heavily infringed upon, and I don't like it. So we're looking to remedy that. The stress, and it is stressful trying to finish Fire, a Wayfarer story. Just so I can have the Wayfarer, Wayfarer series complete, done. End times fiction, warning. I'm warning all throughout it. I'm encouraging all throughout it. I want it done. There's been some interest. My books actually have received a renewed spike, in, a spike in interest lately. Let me say it that way. So I'm encouraged to finish it, but it's a lot of pressure right now. There's been some roadblocks thrown in the way. I don't know what those lights are flickering behind me, but uh, so I prayed about it just a few minutes ago. I said, Lord, what is this anxiety? I asked him, and <laughs> as I was in the bathroom brushing my teeth, he said to me, yes, those things that you describe, your, your residential situation, the turmoil around you, the infringements on your privacy, the book, certainly, those are making you anxious, but that's not really the center of your anxiety. And that's where I bring in this electrical anxiety. Relating to the video I put up this morning, uh, uh, this week, next week, with all the question marks, in this sense I have about Israel, Iran, Russia, and U.S. NATO, that there's some significant significant military event brewing as early as this week or next week. This has something to do with it. This has something to do with it. I am feeling the tension and the anxiety and the electricity, and it could be the 5G too, for all we know, of what is going on in the supernatural right now concerning the end times events that we're watching and how they are materializing in the natural. I'm sensing it. I'm sensing people in general, not you, because if you're watching my channel, you're probably not one of these people. The people that, that I don't like to use the word norm, but I won't, so I won't. The absolute cluelessness of them, while this entire situation around us is collapsing. It is collapsing all around us, and it's as much in the supernatural as it is in the natural. It's fascinating and somewhat frightening to think about where we're going to be by the time we hit September. And here it is, what, July 18th? I'm feeling the tension of it. I, and here, here's right. Okay. Are you feeling the tension? Are you feeling the tension in the air? in your spirits of this impending collapse, this impending change, this appending series of events, series of events, series of events that could be natural, earthquakes, hurricanes, devastating hurricanes, war, economic collapse, all these things that we all, people like me, make news videos about. Are you actually feeling the tension, the anxiety of it? almost like a feeling of an electrical energy around you. I am feeling it. I'm very sensitive to such things. 
I'm sensitive to people, how they feel, what they're thinking. Um, I'm sensitive to it. I'm very intuitive, and I believe it's a gift of the Spirit. I sense people, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what they're afraid of, if they're ill. I get a vibe. I get a vibe from every person within my immediate sphere. I always have. Long before I came to Christ, I had. I still was able to do it. Now I can do it even more so. And this vibe, this feeling, this electrical anxiety of this collapse going on around us, well, we don't see, we don't physically see very much of it. It's a spirit thing. It's a thing. It's, it's as though you can feel the prince of the air, the prince of the air, the devil, of him, the devil himself at work. You can feel it. My hands are flailing because I'm, you know, trying to emphasize. But uh, are you feeling it? Are you feeling the impendence and the 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 impending imminency, imminency, <laughs> the imminency of something so significant, or a chain reaction, dominoes, dominoes, maybe starting with Russia, Ukraine, dominoes going down one after the other, nations against nations, wars and rumors against rumors of war collapse economic societal and yet the people in your sphere might not even realize it do you feel like you're alone do you feel like you just can't scream out people wake up because nobody sees nobody sees it i have eyes to see and ears to hear you have eyes to see and ears to hear are you feeling this tension this electricity, this imminency of a major series of events about to start going now. Let me know in the comments what you're seeing, what you're thinking, you're feeling. Okay, just wanted to share that with you because it is really heavy on me today. It was heavy on me yesterday when I was doing my walk and talk. It is really heavy on me right now. You see how emphatic I am about this. All right, guys. Remember, Jesus. Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. And when you're feeling that tension, when you're feeling that pressure, just praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your comfort, your blessing, your security and my salvation, your salvation. Let me know what you think, folks. Thank you. I'll see you soon.